like Judas sold out for 30 pieces of silver. You know what they did? He's placing his cheekbone against Conor McGregor's head and they're speaking. And Donald Cerrone is causing this injury. Watch. Donald Cerrone, you see? This is where the injury occurred, right here. It wasn't the shoulder shots of five foot nine throwing shoulder shots at Judas. The snake jacket and the rattlesnake around your head. Selling your soul starts at something really small and just compounds over time. That's why it's important to have lines or values that you never cross under any circumstance. If you're willing to lie to your fans, you might cross your friend next and so on and so forth. They called it the potter's field. It's where they buried the dead, the poor, poor people that didn't have a grave. The money was tainted, ill-received, Ill and the MMA community believed you when you said you wanted to win. You sold out. Dana White and Conor McGregor used your reputation as a good sportsman Your image as a working class representing the blue collar worker, you sold that. And you allowed Dana White and Conor McGregor to sell that image. You said that you would make Conor McGregor in the middle. A lot of MMA fans placed bets before the UFC 246 press conference. And at that UFC 246 press conference, you defended Conor McGregor. What was your interest to defend Conor McGregor? There's nothing false, nothing fake. It's just me being real and who I am, and that's it. Like Judas sold out for 30 pieces of silver. You know what they did? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like sink in with this 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 pose you know and then just because you can get caught up in it right you, you, yeah. you get the win and you're right there and all this all this type of stuff and i'm gonna i'm gonna go out tonight i've got an after party set i'm gonna go out and have a few sips of my proper whiskey as you sow so shall you reap just as a farmer plants seeds and expects a period of harvest whatever you sow you will also reap like judas sold out for 30 pieces of silver. You know what they did? You, the consumer, the mixed martial arts fan could go in and bet on this fight. Okay? Now anybody that's going to bet on, on this fight is going to think Manipulative psychopaths. They tend to be amazing liars. They deceive others constantly because they don't feel bad about it. You can't take it. Don't give it. It's as simple as that. They will deny any accusations. 
they will manipulate that information so it seems like it wasn't them. They are willing to even lie about maybe somebody you know and blame them. They will never, never take full ownership. So they are constantly denying facts. There's no need to even discuss what, what began it, what was going on outside, inside, any of that. No, we didn't do anything wrong. There's nothing wrong. Guys, I have done nothing wrong. They will manipulate that information so it seems like it wasn't them. Guys, I have done nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with paying a guy to stand up. You know, we got no problem doing that. Like Judas sold out for 30 pieces of silver. You know what they did? Fuck you, Connie McGregor!